welcome. We are here at the Electronics and Application uh, Trade Show in Utrecht, uh, the Netherlands. This is the Elector stand. And at the Elector stand we also have the uh, Elector Startup Games, where we select the best startup of the Benelux. Here we are uh, at the Aircision. Aircision, they do laser communication, if I have uh, understood it uh, correctly. Yes. Hi. Can you tell something about uh, your product? Yeah, of course. So uh, we from Aircision, we're uh, basically trying to build new FSO products. Um, so FSO stands for Free Space Optics, which is basically um, transmitting data through light propagation through the air. So it's basically like fiber optics, but through the air. And uh, basically where we can make a change is uh, our laser is reconstructed. So any type of laser or light source through our um, yeah, basically optical techno technology can be reconstructed to look like this. So this is a standard Gaussian beam, and with a standard Gaussian beam, as soon as uh, the, like as something interferes with it, connection drops. With us, even if you would drop it by at least 60%, the central spot of the laser would still be able to reconstruct itself. Do you have a working uh, prototype? Uh, we have a demo right now in our lab, uh, so we can basically prove that the laser is working. Uh, we've also tested it at around 100 meters, uh, which seems feasible. Uh, and we hope by 2020 to have working products uh, ready. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. I wish you good luck. Have a good show. Hello, can you say something about your uh, startup? What, uh, what is your product? So, we from Arkad, we have created the Human Interface Mate. Uh, the Human Interface Mate is a product that will guide operators during manual assembly. It actually tells me step by step what to do by lights on the, ta on the work table. If I grab something, I grab blue light. If I place the object, it goes automatically to the next step. When I do a grab, the wrong grab action, for example like this, I get a red light to say that I'm in the wrong position. When I grab in the right container, it goes to the next step. As you can see here, for example, we also project a small video of how to manually insert uh, an object. And then again, it goes automatically to the next step. Okay, very interesting. So you guide people with the assembly of uh, complicated uh, objects. Yes, exactly. So it can help experienced people not to make mistakes, and it can help unexperienced people to produce an object, a product, without knowing really how to do it. Exactly. This is the booth of Envitron. Envitron, they make uh, some sort of an energy monitoring system to optimize energy usage. And, uh, well, they can explain it better than me. So, hi, can you tell us something about your system? Uh, here we demonstrate how we can measure energy for a, for a normal household. Uh, like here with the current uh, transformers. Yeah. For example, uh, in conjunction with the, the voltage, and we can also measure with uh, standard um, utility meters. And you like can connect to these meters uh, also. Yeah. Yes, we can connect to these meters. This is over the Modbus protocol. But you can also uh, talk uh, Mbus. Uh, we like to, uh, to to put that that data into use for uh, a customer yeah. to gain insights in, in the energy usage and. Uh, and so uh, this is what is inside. Yeah, exactly. So there is a Raspberry Pi, I see. Yeah, that's the, the Raspberry Pi the computer module. Oh yes, this is just for the prototype. Yeah, it's just for the prototype. Do you have clients already? Sure, we do have a number of, uh, of smaller and bigger clients, and a lot of potential clients. Uh, okay, well. Nice, thank you very much. I wish you a lot of success with your uh, Envitron yeah, you. and your Envy Base. Yeah. And maybe I will get one soon in my own uh, switchboard. So this is a Guide. Guide is a startup company that produces, uh, that works on guiding lights to prevent elderly people from having accidents in the dark or at home. These are their products, and they're all made from wood. Nice laser cut wood. And this is the main detector. You can see I approached the detector and the light went on. Now you have to wait a little bit and it will switch off again. It works. Can you tell us a little bit about what is inside? Um, yeah, well, there's a motion detector that 
detects the movement of the of the elderly, and when they see the heat uh, of the body, a radio message gets sent to the to the to the landing system. This is the lead driver. Yes. And everything is of made of wood. That's yes, because. Uh, yes, we we uh, we believe that. Uh, Wood is more environmentally friendly than, than plastics. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good luck thank and you. have a good show. Thank you. So this is the booth of InCooling. In cooling they work on uh, a modern high performance cooling system for microcontrollers. Hi. Hi. Can you tell us something about InCooling, the product? What are you making and what is special about it? Sure. to enable the 3D stack logic chips of the future. This is uh, a representation of our product that we uh, are working already in the R&D of it. And we are working with silicon nanotubes that can take up to 700 bar. The operating temperature will be something around uh, minus 45 degrees uh, up to 25. And because of the properties and the high pressure and, and how the system uh, is ensembled, we can have real-time uh, temperature control. So and it, it will be used in uh, data centers, etc. It's, it's yes, needed yes. because AI uh, creates too much heat. Exactly. This is a prototype? Yeah, but not for specifically for the 3D stack uh, cooling system, but for um, the current hardware at data centers. Thank you very much. I wish you a lot of luck and success with your product. Thank you. And Laura Tech, as you can uh, guess from the name, they do something with Laura. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's right. Yeah, that's indeed correct. Okay. Um, we are Laura Tech, and uh, we have a mission to make the world smarter and also much more fun. And we do that by developing Internet of Things uh, applications, devices. This is a, a garbage can uh, device, and measures throughout the eyes, so to say, how full a garbage can is, and then. Uh, for example, collectors know which cans they have to go through and which one they have to skip. And all of this is based on our, uh, on our hardware platform, Lorena. Uh, Lorena has an own printed circuit board which we have developed ourselves. The white block is actually GPS, but it is also a temperature sensor and an uh, accelerometer in it. And an extension connector which enables us to make any device actually what the customer wants. But I, I know this, inside information, you are going to change the name of the company, right? Yes, that's true. Uh, we will change our name to, uh, to Teneo. Very good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nice product. I wish you a lot of success yeah. with it. And maybe uh, see you soon on some other show. Yeah. This is uh, Piku, the booth of Piku. Piku, they make a toy, a nice system, a toy to get children play outside again. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit about your system, please? Games are played with these controllers, you don't need a console or anything. Uh, you can start games with the tags. So we have different kinds of games. So you scan the tag. Yeah, you so scan the tag. So you have NFC inside or something? Uh, RFID. And can you tell us something about how it communicates? How does it work as a system? Uh, so the controllers communicate through Zigbee. Zigbee, so okay. you don't need any Wi-Fi to play the games. That's why you can play them anywhere. There's also Bluetooth if you want to start the games through an app. The user, can he create his own games or her uh, own games? At the moment, not yet. How many children are using it already? Um, there are already 20 places uh, in Europe and in the US where people are using the system. Okay, thank you very much. It's a very nice product. I wish you a lot of success with it. So here we are at the booth of uh, Falcon, a Belgium company who are working on a 3D metal printer. Hello, can you tell us something about your 3D metal printer, please? The metal printers these days always have the same problem. They are too expensive and they are too slow. And it's on these two points that we will work. So first of all, we are decreasing the, the operational cost, we are decreasing the investment cost, and we are speeding up the print process with a factor of 10. So do you have a one already? Do you have a prototype? We have a demonstrator, but we don't have a prototype yet. In two years time we will be on the market and we will be able to uh, print parts for you. And in three years time you will be able to buy our machine. 
Okay. And if I want to print something, do I need uh, powder or something or nope. special metal? No, nope. you don't need special metal, you don't need a powder, that's one of our USPs, so the operational cost is lower. Powder is these days very expensive, a factor 10, 20 more than ordinary material. Our customer can use a wire, a granulate material or funny one, he can use um, recycled material. Sounds very nice. I uh, hope we can see one soon. I wish you a lot of success with your product. Thank you. A uh, warm uh, hand of applause, please, for InCooling. <laughs> Fantastisch. <laughs> Nogmaals, geen zin in. Hartelijk applaus voor Velten, please. Hoofdprijs is uh, Arkite. Arkite, hartelijk gefeliciteerd. Hartelijk applaus voor Arkite. En dan is er nu uh, de champagne voor uh, iedereen.